So here we are. He's he bikes uh, seven number seven. This is quite a monumental um, video because this is all part of Matt King's Target Two Point Five One Thousand Subscribers Ride, where he has set himself a challenge of twenty five laps around the volcano. So uh, I'm joining in. There's a number of other people who follow Matt regularly that are also joining in. And as you can see from the screen, this is obviously the start. Uh, no idea how it's going to go. I've probably only done about 60 kilometres in one go. So this was going to be a lot further than that if I am able to complete it. So I won't tell you whether I do or not. But uh, yeah, like I said, 25 laps of the volcano, thousand, uh, sorry, 100 uh, K, just over 100 K with after Matt King's got a thousand subscribers, so off we go. So here we are, just a minute into the ride, and my understanding was, was that the first one hour was going to be all part of a group ride where we would be banded with Matt and the other group members. So I was hoping to take advantage of some A, Bs and Cs riding at a quicker pace and just being able to pedal along uh, and it being a quite smooth first hour. But I soon realised after about 10 minutes that it wasn't banded and that I needed to work pretty hard to catch up with the rest of the group and take advantage of any um, drafting effects. So you can see that I'm out on my own here. I've got somebody else with me at the moment, but I just chilled for the first 10, 15 minutes and had a big gap of about 20, 30 seconds soon built up, thinking that the band was going to ping me back to the rest of the group, but it never happened. So I had to work quite hard first half an hour. Uh, you can see we're 15 kilometers in. I felt really good here, felt really comfortable. I was working hard to catch the rest of the group, but it, um, it was fine. So you can see by this point, after 16k and 32 minutes of riding, uh, I've been able to catch up with the rest of the group and take advantage of any drafting that's going on. So it felt a little bit easier here. You can see that my wattage is about 150, 145 there. That, that's running about just less than two uh, watts per kilogram. I weigh 95 kilograms, so. 190 is uh, 2 watts per kilogram so I'm working at just under that about 1.7 1.8 kilogram uh, watts per kilogram so at this point you can see that uh, we're still a nice little group together and I've got over the effort of having to catch up after being dropped early on and I'm a quarter of the way through feeling comfortable the actual lap times are coming down all the time you can see on the left hand side how times are improving um, I think I've got it right down to about a 7 minute 25 minute lap at one point so that was really pleasing um, and yeah it was com comfortable and moving around really well
So you can see at the end of the lap, that at the end of that lap, that uh, the time just starting to slow down a little bit. Uh, we have had one that was, for me was as quick as seven minutes twenty, but you can see that I've gone out to about there. Uh, well, that one was seven forty three. Um, so we were quite erratic with our timings through the um, laps because I'm pretty sure that the next few laps we'll see that um, an increase in the times and the improvements in the times. move forward to a third of the way through the ride now just over 33.3 kilometers done and we've opened up a little tiny gap i'm not sure the reason why this gap opened up it just seemed to materialize i think it was on one of the upslopes just before we entered the volcano uh, so the rest of the group are 10 15 seconds behind but there are other riders here there and everywhere spread out there's some b and c riders who are going at a quicker pace so it's been good so far So you can see here we're at the halfway point um, we've come out of the group ride so you can see that the jersey has changed and a number of us changed our jersey so we'd be easier to spot whilst out riding but it wasn't too tricky anyway despite it being a lot busier we all could see the other t 2.5 riders uh, the other thing to point out here is as i'm riding pretty much solo now the rest of the group including matt stopped for a five minute break and i decided just to carry on i thought you know i felt that was the best thing for me i didn't know whether i'd be able to keep going if i stopped so i just carried on riding and i slowed my lap times down considerably and just cruised around and waited for the rest of the group to uh, catch me back up again So here we are, you can see I'm two thirds of the way through, groups back together again, my slower pace after not stopping has been caught by the group who stopped and had um, a refreshments and toilet stop have caught back up with me unsurprisingly because I'd slowed right down but when they did catch me I had a battle to stay with them and you can see that I put in a fast lap of 7.39 at this point. And we're about 18 laps in, I think. 20 laps? No, about 18 laps in, I think, we were at this point. So, not a bad effort to do a time of 7.39, or a lap time of So you can actually see that was the end of the 16th lap and that was another quick time another uh, just around 740 for that lap so i think due to the amount of drafting going on i think some of the better riders amongst the group had you know put increased the effort a little bit so we're pulling the d's along quite nicely so that was pleasing to see So we're now up to four fifths of the way through. I'm back on my own. Um, I've carried on riding. The rest of the group have stopped for a second comfort break. I've eased off. You can see my times on the left hand side have dropped down a lap time of 8.15 for the last lap that's just been done. Um, and the rest of the group, I think it was about eight of them, were, had, the, had their stop but were catching up with me because they were riding at a quicker pace. So 
I don't know whether it was a positive or a negative, really, because I would then be riding without any draft. So that might have been a difficulty in itself. So I might have been better off staying with the group, but I'll never know. So now we're 90k here, not far to go, 10k to go. You can see my watts are right down, just around about the 100 mark, which is just over 1.1 watts per kilo. Uh, I'm on my own, I've slowed right down. The rest of the group stopped for their comfort break and I haven't seen them since. They must have stopped for about a five, six minute break, but they are uh, moving quicker than me. Although I know Matt's struggling himself at the moment. So 10k to go three laps left. So this will be the first time that I've ridden 100k. I think the best before this was about 65k, so considerably more. You can see on the left hand side of the screen that all my lap times are well off uh, my best times now. And I'm just plodding around. You can also see on the right hand side of the page that there's no T2.5 riders behind me. So that second comfort break that they took um, has meant that they've stayed behind me. Um, uh, everyone's going at a slower pace now so it's a little bit tricky hopefully uh, my plan was just to let them uh, for me to slow down even more so that they could then move past me but there it is 100k first time ever So this is it, the finish line crossed. You can see in the map in the top right hand corner, you can see the finish line that I've just gone over, uh, but I actually missed the moment. I didn't rec press screen record at the right time on my iPad when I was riding, desperately trying to get the video running, but missed it all. But So all you see of our monu monumental ride is the aftermath of us crossing the finish line and the celebrations in the chat of everyone getting over that uh, 25 laps of the volcano so a bit of a shame that but if you want to watch the whole thing have a look at matt's video 25 laps around the volcano matt king two target 2.5 uh, he's got a far more in-depth analysis of the ride and um, i've just come along and done my effort so i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll see you all again soon